Where are we going, Grant? Uh, LPQ pick apart to pick up a Trixie axle. Time yeah. to get a diff. Whoop! Oh boy! Oh yeah, pick it up, Daddy. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh. Is she gonna? Oh, there she goes. Oh boy, guys, look how cute Tibby looks today. Isn't she adorable? Oh, she does, she doesn't like me. No, it kind of <laughs> sounds like an organ. Nice. Wait, wait, we gotta lock the Trailblazer. Well, of course. Trailblazer sponsored by Broke Things. Okay, now let's plug in your phone because I have no clue where I'm going. Just go to LGPA for now. L LGPA? Is it, have you been there? Nope. But you said it's the LGPA pick and so go that way. LPQ. Oh, okay. All right, so here we are. We were looking for a purple Mustang. Yep. 90s. That works. Look, guys, there's the Chevy section. Ugh, that's where I should be. But here, I'm stuck here with these, these things, these, these Fords. This is where they belong, eh? I don't believe so. I believe so. This isn't the purple one, my dude. I know it isn't. But that's the axle. Pretty messed up one, but let's see. What <laughs> I should ask. The convertible, it's not a GT. So? Won't have it. Oh. Right, duh. Uh, diff search. Bronco may. Bronco would. A Bronco would? Yeah, Bronco would. I thought Bronco's a nine though. No, not these years. Grant got excited because it's another Bronco. No, this is the upgraded axle. He's got a nice exhaust on it, eh? The axle on it. Yeah, that's a big boy. That thing's chunky. Okay, that's literally a Ranger. I know. Oh, here's a green Mustang. It's not a GT. What is this? Is this an old Ronchero? Yeah. Oh my I God, look at... One. What? I almost bought one of these. I definitely drove one. So. This thing doesn't exactly look like it's in great condition, Grant. <gasps> but the axe? I don't think this is... Is that a posse? It's got drums, my guy. I know. It's leaking. What do you mean? It's leaking. That's a nine inch. Yeah, they're looking for eight eights. I know. But I know nine inches really well. Then why don't we get a nine inch that's not leaking? Because there aren't many around. I'm sure we can find one. That one's leaking. So what? It's just a seal. I gotta take the whole thing apart anyway. You really want to ranch on this Ranchero? Honestly, this will be the easiest car of them all. Because it doesn't have... I feel like there's a it's transmission. <laughs> it's white as it goes. Oh my gosh. Look, look at that. All right, let's move on. All right, all right, keep moving. I'm just gonna... Thing. You found it? Oh, that's a, another... Look at the engine. It's a V6. V6. Oh my God. All these damn V6s. All right, I guess we'll update you when we find the damn um, car. Damn it. GoPro battery's dying already. There's a GT. There's a GT. All right, actually, hold on. We found a GT. Wait, Grant. Oh, there's the purple one. There's the purple guy. This is a V6. Purple's V6. All righty. I see her. Here's another one. That's a six cylinder. Here we go. She doesn't look like a GT. It actually, I can't really tell. That's a six cylinder. Damn it. What's with all these damn six cylinders? Because they're cheap. There's more of them. Yeah. And people don't usually just fra crash a V8. It's 98 though. It's the same year as I am. <laughs> Did you know I'm a 98? Wait, it says GT on the back. Yeah, it's possible. Some some GTs were, v, were V6. Do they come with the slips? I think so. Well, we can check it if. Right, we can do the check. Oh man, this guy had a fucking. Look at that steering wheel. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Um, oh, it's an automatic. That's fine. That's bad. Why? That means there's a lock if it was a manual. Yeah, but there's a way out of these locks. See? Or just pick and shift. Or that, yeah. Damn, this thing is so gross. <laughs> All right, turn the wheel. We're going forward. I'm going backwards. What? It's going forward. I mean, lock it. Spin the wheel. I'm spinning at you. Which way are you spinning? Backwards. Oh. All right. It's open. Yep. Rip. It's got discs now. It isn't open. It. How's the diff look? Kind of ratty. Yeah, no, it doesn't look very good. There's a chip. No, it's fine. The chip looks like, huh? Where? Right over there, back there. Looks like there's a chip or something missing. I can't really tell. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't think so. It doesn't look like a chip. I like chips. They don't really chip. Right. All right, I let the record show. Grant had to bust this nut for me. Let the record show not every nut that I bust is from Grant. We need to make that absolutely clear right now. But like I said, we found our diff, guys. She looks like a f***ing diff. <laughs> yeah, she's clean it. Yeah, look at the underneath of this car. It's the cleanest car I've ever been under, eh? <laughs> sure. Ah, oh, dude. I hope, let the record show I'm again. we found a limited slip. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh, there's so much glass down here. Yeah, dude, I know. I'm like laying in glass right now. Yeah. There's only a bunch of glass in my back. There's glass in my knee. There's glass in my back. Ah, uh, yo, yo. Jeep Beach wasn't this weekend. I would so not be here right now. Where would you be? But, guys. <laughs> I just realized our big mistake. Grant, what did we forget? Beads. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm far away from them. We're gonna get, guys, we gotta get Grant some more beads. All right, I'll update you guys when this is done. Just... All right, what happened, Grant? Well, we're doing it again. Yep. Um, part of it was metric, so we didn't, weren't able to get everything out. Um, we're coming back tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some more parts. Be better prepared. We'll rip. Out. And then we'll have a nice big old diff for uh Trixie. Yep. But yeah, the diff wouldn't come out. Um, but, it had some metric bolts in there, so. But it is disc and limited slip. Yes, it is. We find a disc brake limited slip rear axle, which is awesome. So we're gonna get that out. I'm all dirty and icky. Grant's all icky too. We're gonna actually. We are so busy this weekend, honestly, with filming. Jeep Beach. Jeep Beach is this weekend. And the axle. I'm hoping we have enough videos for when before Grant goes home. Guys, look at the Bronco. Look at the Bronco. But yeah, we are gonna we're gonna be drag racing the Bronco versus the trail my trailblazer just to see the difference before and after the engine. Yep. But that's gonna be its own entity when Grant comes back in like July. But we'll have some um good stuff. But I'm actually I'm going back home soon to Chicago for a week. And I'm gonna get some good filming of some. I'm gonna be doing um autocross with a Corvette, so that should be fun. And possibly a McLaren. So that should be rowdy. What's up, guys? Yep. but as I was saying, guys, um, I got some good stuff coming when I go home. I will be racing a Corvette on a race, on a road course. A 650 wheel horsepower Corvette and possibly a McLaren. So that should be very tasty. And Grant's boat racings will be tasty. Yeah. See, the problem is Grant does a lot of awesome things. But he forgets to film them. Yeah, that's that's my main problem. You have to remember I'm to driving. <laughs> you have to remember to film these. I'm usually driving. I don't have passengers. You or the passengers fall out. Woo! <laughs> All right. So ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream day, guys. Oh. All right, let's light this candle, eh? <laughs> Look at these here Jeeps. Sorry, classic Jeep coming through. Yeah. Oh my 
God, look at the speakers. Are those speakers? Hmm? Are those speakers? Yeah, they are. Poison spider, eh? Hell, oh, hello, everybody. So, we're still the gross. We got ice cream and stuff. But have you guys ever noticed that all those Jeeps are for girls stickers? Well, they're right, because Broncos are for boys, Jeeps are for girls, and they can keep their Barbie nonsense away. <laughs> Go that way. It's Go a, that way. It's a hint. You're going the wrong way. There you go. I'm not going the wrong way. See that parking lot over there? Yeah, there's a. We'll do one. All right, here's the Jeeps for girls, guys. Look. That is the girl Jeep. You're cutting it real close there, Sally. Let's go see if these Jeeps want anything to do with our Bronco. Your Bronco. So. Bronco. <laughs> the Bronco. Not the. She's just Bronco. Yeah, this Bronco. Look at these Jeeps. Look how pink that Jeep is, dude. That one's actually really nice. And I like how I was mentioning Barbie Jeeps. Barbie Jeep. Barbie Jeep. Oh, that YJ is sick, though. I like the YJ. The YJ. Oh, look at the directionals in the alley. What is... What kind of... What generation Jeep is that? That's the uh, early 2000s. Yeah, what, what are those? I don't know their name. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't spend much time looking at uh, Jeeps because I don't like staring into my mirrors. Jeepers Creepers! Okay, then that's just a stock gun with some bumpers and tires. Grant, your garage. Bike's in it. Yeah, the Miley's bike's in it. I will. I winterized the bike. Miley is inside. And winterized, so she won't start. Oh, poor thing. I What'd shoved, you do to it? Shoved oil in its down its throat. Why? Because so I'm not going to be using it for several months. Oh yeah. When are you bringing her over to the new garage? Um. Well, this, so I'm getting a specialty plug-in so then I can read all the codes to see what's wrong with it and then, you know, I'll fix it. Right. Oh, and here's the engine, guys. Again. Again. Um, For those of you... The plate and washed it. Right. The flex, uh, the, what are called that thing? The plate? I don't know what it's called. I forget what it's called. Nice header. Yeah, just a single header. You don't need, you don't need two. Hell no. All right, well, a uh, quick itty bitty little side thing, a little quick bike update. And also the Trailblazer is finally getting its cutout fixed. It had an electric cutout put on like a couple years ago. It's been burnt down for over a year. Did we talk about the radiator? New one getting on. Yeah, we showed them the radiator already. Cool. So uh, that's a quick update. Grant. Yes, sir. What you doing? I'm putting Tibby cutout on and um, She's being a little naughty and not accepting it well. Oh, you know Tibby's a naughty girl. Ooh, that's still hot. Oof. Rough uh, days. Yeah, yeah. F. Major bra. All right, Grant, let's see if your work works. Oh my God. It's still, I can still feel it. It's like you're actually using a bumper. Alright, we're good. She's quiet again! Yes! Road trip ready. So I got the drive shaft out. Um, the drive shaft's out, and uh, John was staying up all last night editing, so I did this alone. Um, so I did not get myself using the drive shaft as a whack a mole to slide those things out of the way and put the thing up on new rim blocks. So, um, yeah, drive shafts, real good. Uh, sludge hammers you know but you gotta use the thick end this is the solid piece this is all hollow so you gotta use the solid piece just a helpful tip um yeah so uh this is the car I stole it from murphy mountaineer v8 five liter and that's uh so yeah um, I'm gonna go look for some Nissan mirrors and John's gonna come by just to help me pick it up and put it in the Bronco on the tailgate 
because the thing is way too heavy for me to do it alone without hurting the Bronco, which we don't, none of us want. Um, it's day two with the diff. Grant got the diff out because I was up till 5.30 in the morning last night editing videos, playing Xbox, and Schoolboy Q's album came out, so there was no way I was sleeping. He was like, hey, be here at 10 in the morning, and I'm like, I'll try, and it didn't. I did not succeed. So he's like, hey, just come over. I had the diff done, open out, and I'm like, uh, okay. So here it is, the glorious 8.8. Yep, and then it's, uh, it's, it has a limited slip, or it's seized, and it's just seized together in one axle, which, you know, whatever. That would suck. It would suck. I doubt it's seized. I doubt it, because it moves so well. <laughs> yeah. And the idea is that both of them spin forward instead of independently different directions. Yeah. This would be open, this is locked. So here's how we're bringing this game. We're putting this on the tailgate of Bronco. Yeah, because, Oof. I mean, it should be fine just because it's a lot of padding. I have about four layers of towels underneath, and padding on each side, then we're just gonna rope it up to the roll cage frame I got there. Um, yeah, so it's not too heavy. It's only like 80, 90 pounds. Um, it's still full of fluid and Oof. everything and brake fluid. <gasps> so yeah, and we can't drop it because I like my paint and it'll still dent. Right. Well, that's our update. We have our diff finally. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. We're, um, what's next? Uh, I'm doing Bronco thing. Bronco things? Oh yeah, you're taking Bronco home. Yeah. This is our last, this is mine and Grant's last video together until July. Um, I will be out, I think the next video will most likely be me autocrossing the Corvette, if that happens, or it might be Grant up with Bronco updates. Bronco updates or boat bids? Whatever it is, me and Grant are going to start having our individual bids for about a month, but then we'll be back. So... Actually, it won't really even be a month to you guys because we're we're releasing these all like a month after. So just so you guys don't have that awkward gap. So thanks for watching. Like us and subscribe. And we love you all.